Sunday night and the Burlington Old Timers Hockey Club is warming up, strapping on the blades, rubbing on the liniment, hey, getting ready to battle for the top spot in the division. On the ice tonight, the collective experience of about 700 years of hockey. But no one man is responsible for more of those years. It's you again. Than 86-year-old. Am I in your way? No, nope, you're perfect. Stu Cockshut. We had a couple of ponds on it. And we, Just like that? We had to shovel the snow off to play and it was 1934 when five-year-old Stu first hit the pond with his brand new skates. Santa Claus brought me a pair of these bob skates. You know what they look like? Yeah. Double runners, so you know. They call them cheese cutters or something. <laughs> <laughs> they, I, we always call them bob skates. Yep, when Stu was a kid, the dirty part of the 30s was just ending. The Dion quintuplets had just been born, and Foster Hewitt was still a relatively new guy on the radio. The puck is still in the Montreal zone. My hockey hero was Rocket Richard, <laughs> and I used just to love to watch him play. Through grade school, where Stu played for the champs. Yeah, public school champ. Strathcona wins school hockey. Look game. at that. In the last few minutes, Barrett scored twice to give Strathcona the cup. Young cock shut in goal and hood on the right wing were the real Whoa. stars. Now that's the important part. <laughs> on through the years, as he raised his family, bred championship horses, or walked the backcountry looking for game. Holy smoke. <laughs> so when you're not playing hockey, you're hunting. <laughs> hockey was always a constant. He even managed to collect his hero, the Rockets, autograph. What is it about hockey? I don't know, it's relaxing to me. And, and that doesn't sound like hockey, does it? When I go to a hockey game, I forget about everything else. And I just love it. I just, yeah, yeah. and I can't wait to go. Well, they're not very heavy. This fellow who can throw around 50 pound bales of hay still pulls out the old hockey bag twice a week. Here, Dewey, I think you might need these. Thank you. <laughs> That's his wife for the past 44 years, Heidi. She wouldn't even try to stop him. I hope he can do it many more years. And you couldn't stop him anyway. I, could, I was just going to say, and there is no stopping him no matter what. I said, when I can't carry it anymore, I'll quit. <laughs> so as the sun sets, he heads off down the Ontario country back roads, an hour's drive to the big city for one more night on the ice. That's granddaughter Chelsea. But tonight is special. Kids. I wish I could do it at that age. Grandkids and great grandkids are all here. Must be pretty proud of granddad. <laughs> I am. Yeah. yeah. The stands are soon full. You see, tonight, Stu. He's our third leading scorer. <laughs> all the goals are being scored from about a foot in front of the net is going for the world record. I can't reach any further. <laughs> That's right, the Guinness world record for the oldest regularly active league hockey player. <laughs> His buddy and part of tonight's opposition, Peter Austin, started it all. He may not be the fastest guy in the ice, but he knows where to be ahead of time, and uh, he's in everybody else's way when they come down our way. So uh, maybe he's going to kick your butt tonight. I doubt that. <laughs> I I hope I get to be and here. club president Bruce Marsh just hopes all the excitement doesn't prove too much. Where's the defibrillator? <laughs> there is some here somewhere. <laughs> but these guys are the legs of experience, and they know when to take a break. Stu's team jumps out to a one-goal lead. White goal, in, unassisted. Here we go, Stewie, here we go! Stu tries to feed a couple open guys, soon a rush of the goal, but no luck. Then the bad guys tie the game. And that's where it ends. How'd that feel? Good. <laughs> Got a few more games in you yet? I think so. I didn't play much in that game, so I better have some more. Stu confesses he doesn't know what all the fuss is about, but the boys wouldn't let it go, and so they have their hometown hero, and maybe once verified, a Guinness World Record holder too.
Fred Sharon, CBC News in Burlington, Ontario.